The message is get ready now. Winter is coming fast. They're warning people that there'll be rolling blackouts in these states. And some of the coldest states will be hit hard. So if you're in these states especially, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're prepared. Again, like I've been warning you for a while, it's due to the natural gas shortages and fuel shortages and supply chain issues. These states, they're being warned and they're saying that there'll be more states that are gonna be warned about rolling blackouts, but there's still time to get prepared. Not much time, so you wanna get a move on. Critical information that you should know coming right up. Welcome back to all of our subscribers. If you're brand new here, like news that affects you, prepping tips, emergency preparedness, how to's every single week. Be sure to check that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. It's happening in other parts of the country right now and we're finally starting to get warned. What if it happened to you? You got the notification that there was gonna be rolling blackouts. Segments of your day, you would not have any power. What would you do? Are you ready? Because today I've got six states that have officially been warned that rolling blackouts is a high probability this winter. And winter's really close. And remember, not everyone watches the news. So if you want to help out your community, please share this video. And also at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a couple tips on how you can stay warm this winter. Things that you can still do because you have some time left, but not much. This article right here reads, power producers are preparing for potential strain on the grid this winter as a surge in natural gas demands abroad threaten to reduce supplies they need to generate electricity. These areas which rely on natural gas imports to bridge winter supply gaps is now competing with European countries for shipments of liquefied natural gas. That simply means in this day and age, it's going to the highest bidder. And do you think our country is going to get it? Likely not, given that we're giving all the money that we don't even have away. It goes on to say that it's following Russia's halt on most pipeline gas to generate electricity as more of it's burned to heat homes these days. They have warned that extremely cold winters could strain the reliability of the grid and potentially result in the need for rolling blackouts to keep electricity, supply, and demand in balance. Rolling blackouts, they're telling you right now that they may need to do rolling blackouts to keep the system going. Now, whether they need to do that or not, they're warning us that the probability is high of having rolling blackouts, which means you need to get ready. It goes on to read that the warning comes from executives and analysts predicting power producers could have to pay as much as several times more than last year for gas deliveries if the severe weather creates urgent need for spot market purchases. So yeah, on top of the inflation, the hyperinflation, the cost of living going up even more, it's going to put a big strain on them as well. It also reads in this article from a professional commercial standpoint, at what point do you just not do it anymore? At what point do you cut your losses and stop? because these commercial outfits are getting to the point where there's no money to be made. And another reason this is just going to snowball effect is because a lot of people won't be able to afford natural gas or they won't have it available. So it's going to push a lot more people using the electrical grid, which is going to put a lot of strain and pressure on the electrical grid, pushing these areas to rotate and go with rolling blackouts, meaning they're going to turn off your power for a segment during the day in the coldest part of the year to moderate the grid. You might be wondering what states were just warned. Well, the state of Maine was warned. Vermont was warned. New Hampshire was warned. Massachusetts and Connecticut and Rhode Island. All of the New England area has been warned of rolling blackouts. And that's just six states. We've been getting comments from other people that say that their states are talking about it as well. The official warnings are happening right now. Check out these headlines. Fox Business reads, New England risks winter blackouts as gas supplies tighten. Or there's this one. The Boston Globe headline reads, Rolling blackouts, Rhode Island, ISO, New England, which manages the power grid, says that shortage of natural gas could require controlled power outages across the region during prolonged cold weather this winter. They're warning you, prolonged winter, rough winter, expect rolling blackouts in your home. Now, a lot of people in America 
just tend to be complacent because it's an easy place to live, right? A lot of times we don't have to worry about stuff. It works itself out, but we're going into winter, cold weather. Let's say we do get a rolling blackout in our area. Are you ready? Are you gonna be able to stay warm? That's the big question you need to be thinking about. Now, before I give you guys an excellent tip, Let's hear what a couple people have to say. Now, this is a subscriber from the UK. They say that they're already getting scheduled blackouts for this winter. They're stating that they're going to be three to four hours, but he says they will be expecting a minimum of six hours. And this subscriber says he is a prepper, but most people over there are not prepping. They are not ready whatsoever, and it's going to cause a lot of mayhem. Also over there, and I bring up over there because it's happening there first. And we need to learn by what they're having to deal with because it's coming to us next. So this subscriber from Germany is saying that he caught this guy walking around with some type of measuring device, following power lines to people's houses. They're strung up a little bit different over there. But after approaching the guy, he says the only reason that he could be doing this is to figure out how everyone's put together, how the grid's put together, so they know how they can section off sections to do rolling blackouts this winter. They need to know how they can sanction off different areas. He also goes on to say that they're dealing with a lot of sabotage like we are with food factories, our power, all that. I believe the same people are attacking all the way around the world, which makes you wonder who's behind it, right? He says that over there, they're experiencing the same thing. Right here, he says, we are facing a wave of sabotage events since weeks. Not only did the hacker attack rise, but also the German railways, Deutsche Bahn, faced an attack where they cut two of the major connection points for communication. And he, and, he left me, and he left me some sources and some links. I'll put them in the description below. Besides that, every day, a small part of the power distribution network is burning, either a power transformer station or some local distribution point. Of course, right now, they'll tell the people that it has nothing to do with the sabotage, but people are starting to recognize it, and they're recognizing that it's everywhere now, all over the country. So it's not just us that's experiencing this. It kind of makes you wonder who's behind all this sabotage. So some tips for this winter. Ways to stay warm. That's going to be your biggest one. Food and water, hopefully that'll be taken care of. Hopefully you're prepping up some of that stuff. Hopefully the shelves aren't empty yet. Heat. You guys want to be thinking about heat. If you're going to be dealing with rolling blackouts, you need to have a source of heat. Now, I've shown you guys all different kind of emergency heats in the past. If you go to our videos, you'll see Crisco burning candles. You'll see little lanterns I've taught you how to build. You'll see propane little Mr. Buddy heaters. Lots of different ways to have emergency heat. But to have more abundant heat is to have a wood stove like this. Because you're probably wondering why I have the door wide open when it's 40 degrees out. It's because this thing's putting off a ton of heat. Now in a lot of countries, you can't even own this device, a wood stove. And honestly, with the way things are going in our country, we're probably not too many years away from having that same problem. But a simple little wood stove like this, you can find them at yard sales, sales sites, Craigslist, Marketplace, all those places that people sell stuff you can find used wood stoves. Maybe not as much anymore because I'm sure people are snatching them up just like they're snatching up a bunch of power generators to run little heaters. And, but you can find small wood stoves for around $250 still, I believe. And I'll find a couple for you guys and throw them down in the description below so you can check them out. But, and I've used those small type of wood stoves. They use them in like elk hunting tents, deer hunting tents, big 20 by 20 tents, and they will cook you out. A little wood stove is very effective, and if it got to life or death, you could start chopping up your wood dining wood table, your wood chairs, do whatever you gotta do to throw in there to create some heat. It's because as you can see, you can boil water on this, you can cook on this, and you can stay warm on this. And when you're dealing with those freezing temperatures out there, the only thing you're gonna be thinking about is staying warm. Now, as you can see out here in our self-sufficient tiny house, I just piped this up, went straight out the wall. And out here, it just comes straight out, goes straight up, and you're good to go. I've already done my homework. I've gotten a lot of wood stored up, ready for the winter. But to be able to do something like this, even in a shed, in your garage, in a specific room, it's still doable. You got enough time to put in something like this. Definitely a sense of security. 
So like I said, you can have propane heaters like little Mr. Buddy heaters, some different oil heaters, and you can also have some generators, solar generators that plug into your solar equipment, plug into the wall of your house, or you can even plug them into your car. And I'm gonna be doing some good reviews on some newer products that have better pricing, so be sure to stay tuned for that. But until then, hard to beat a good old wood stove. A lot of people can find wood if they need to find wood, and this thing burns a lot of different things to give you some warmth, to give you some cooking, to boil some water. I'd find one now just to have one. Again, I'll leave some links down in the description. You guys can check them out. Be sure to let me know what you guys know about rolling blackouts in your area in the comments. Please share this to the community. Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing, guys. We'll see you on the next one.